Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Farmville, North Carolina, and today we're going to be doing a couple of different things. We've been moving time forward here, trying to get into harvest season and get this corn off of our fields. But before we keep moving stuff forward, we have picked up a small addition to the farm here with some of our contract proceeds over the summer here. We've got ourselves a handy front loader. Uh, and this is uh, because we want to start moving some of these pallets in the shed around here. We've got all these uh, different leftovers from when we were planting. And I really want to uh, try and expand our greenhouse here. In fact, if we hop out and run over here real quick, you can see that we've been uh, getting all of these products out with just water. But we also have some options for seeds and solid fertilizer and seeds and manure, which unfortunately we can't do the manure because this is the uh, um, hard manure, dry manure, and that's going to limit us there. But realizing now that I can run these in parallel, I'd like to start up with the seeds and fertilizer and kind of see how that goes. Uh, we're making a little bit of money off of this garden. If we pop in here to our finance section and scroll down, you can see we average about $1,000 a month. It kind of goes up and down on the seasons. And so I thought, well, why not give it a try and see how much more money we would make if we were using the seeds and solid fertilizer. And yes, I could probably just pick the pallets up like I've done in the past and move them into that zone, but I'm not for two reasons. One is I forgot to update my mods since the 1.8 patch and super strength isn't currently working in my save. I do just need to jump out and update uh, the, I think it's the Lumberjack mod that I'm using for Super Strength. Uh, I know Easy Dev Tools also has a version of it. We're going to jump in cab here, see if we can manage this. I always hate the in cab because I can't quite see my forks. But um, if you're having problems with Super Strength not working, or there's a several mods actually that I have found that aren't quite uh, functioning correctly since the 1.8 patch, uh, I find that most modders have got updates out there for it now, so definitely check your mods for new updates since the patch. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this straight up into here. I kind of thought that this would be the zone to dump them in, but maybe not. I'm going to raise it up here. There we go. It's got to dump out the bottom of the pallet. Just like that, we've got some seeds, and only because I'm curious, I want to... Uh, open this gate up. We're gonna look at the screen here. I'm curious how much seeds this actually stores. Um, we put that whole pallet in and it says zero at the moment, which is a little bit surprising. Oh, that's because that wasn't seed. That was solid fertilizer that we were putting in. So we do have a little bit of solid fertilizer in here. Good deal. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab several more pallets and get this all started up here. We'll uh, maybe toss a pallet of seed in next and kind of see how uh, see how this is going to work out. If this disc wasn't right behind me, I'd have a little bit easier time sneaking in here and grabbing the pallets. I'm trying not to stab the herbicide containers here. I am using the mouse and keyboard for uh, the controls today. I know that uh, if I get my joystick plugged back in, that that'd probably be a little bit easier for me. But it is what it is. We've got these controls set up at the moment. I know a lot of people like using controllers for farm sim. Um, I can just never get behind a controller. Oh my goodness, we forgot to tip it back. We lost our pallet. Uh, but what I was saying is, is I know a lot of people like to use controllers for farm sim. I could never get into using a hand-based controller, but I feel like for something like this, it would probably work a lot better, to be honest. Um, I think you'd have a lot better control over the uh, driving in the bucket at the same time uh, with a controller compared to uh, using the keyboard and mouse. So I'm going to hop in here. I think I would like to go ahead and just turn all of these on similar to how we've done the other products here. And so I'm going to activate this and it says it's running. Um, the out It's still the same outgoing product. So it looks like I can just have two things feeding into it. So 
I'm going to go ahead and just activate all of these real quick. And what's really going to be the uh, telling factor is going to be seeing if our uh, unit sold goes up here over the course of the next uh, month as we move the clock forward. So all of our outgoing products are still selling and we have storages here for our seeds and fertilizers. So I think everything's set up. We shouldn't have to do anything else in here. We should probably top off the water too after we're done putting the rest of the seed and fertilizer into the garden area here. And so what we're going to do just, I think, uh, one more pallet of seed here. And then we might need two pallets of fertilizer only because that first pallet that we grabbed was not a full pallet. And as we can see here, I'm going to say it and then it will probably not be true, but uh, getting a little bit better at running the forklift here. This uh, pallet is freaking out though. I wonder why that is. Alright, we're going to try that again. This is what I get for saying things are going better. Things freak out. Like, what is going on here? Am I just not getting under the pallet? Oh my goodness. how to pick this up now that it's all cockeyed. There we go. All right. This seems legit. Pallet won't sit on the forks the normal way, but I can uh, tip it over. Oh my goodness. Kedrick remembers why he never deals with pallets. I think I've got it this time. And this was uh, barely even a pallet of seed. There was hardly anything in there. All the shenanigans for nothing. Alright, so we've got the seed in and we're going to just bring this full pallet of fertilizer over. We'll check how we're doing from a, a fill percentage. I think we're going to probably use equal amount seed and fertilizer. I'm not sure though. I guess maybe that's a poor assumption to make on my part, but uh, I don't see a lot of use of overfilling things. We do have other uses for that fertilizer and so uh, I'm expecting the to kind of drain at a more or less equal rate. I guess I could check here yet. It just doesn't tell you how much of these it's going to use. So we're going to let this run for a bit, see how this does. I think I will put the rest of our water in there, though, top that off. So let's just uh, get this guy hooked back up to that water trailer. And I think at that point we've more or less finished all the things that we wanted to do here in the month of August. We do need to make it into, uh, I believe, October to start our corn harvest. And so I think what I'm going to do as soon as I fill up this water is we'll move time forward here a month and see what things look like after a month of, uh, of growing. I think technically we'll only get about half of the day of growth here on the garden so I'm not uh, sure it's going to be showing me everything that I wanted to see as far as how much more money a month we're going to make we might have to let this run for a couple months before we get to that point I'm excited I'm, I'm hopeful that that's going to increase our profits enough to really keep covering the interest on our loans and stuff I'm going to top this water off here in the trailer just uh, since we're here that way it's full when I need it and I'm not uh, completely out of money sitting there wishing I could put some more water in. So uh, it does tend to balance out some of the profits from this garden. I probably should have either modded this water point or gotten a different water point to be a little bit cheaper. $600 for a tank of water is a bit much, but uh, that's all right. We're making a lot of money here off of this garden for sure. So with that, let's go ahead and skip into September. As you can see here, our loan interest is about 200 bucks. We have $900 of property maintenance. 
and the $20 is the production cost for running the garden. So hopefully with the increase in products here, we'll see uh, that our garden is actually going to uh, cover those costs. If we're, our garden could cover the daily maintenance costs of our farm, I think I'd be happy. And we are into September now, so let's go ahead and check the garden here real quick. It did uh, drain down some of those seeds and fertilizer. It's still looking pretty good though. A uh, good chunk of the water went through it as well, but let's really check what we're interested in, which is the finance section. Um, our sold products were about even in August for previous months, a little bit more. But in September here, you can see that we're already at $483 and it's only 8 a.m. So I'm expecting uh, that we're going to see that our profits have maybe almost doubled up. I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to follow along with that. And then the other thing that we wanted to take a look at today is our animals and so we do have that original set of hogs here has just reproduced again so we've got a fourth set of 100 here uh, that are in that early puberty stage and then it looks like next month we're gonna get another set out of uh, these hogs here so we'll be up to 500 hogs in October here with uh, these younger ones starting to get to the point where they're going to reproduce in the not too distant future. Now, the, again, the concerning part of this is we're running out of feed. So we need to get into harvest immediately in October and start pumping some feed back into these hogs so that we don't lose any time and we can kind of keep things moving here. The amount of feed they need is starting to uh, go up quite quickly as we get more and more hogs on the farm. Running the clock forward here, we can see our costs are about the same as they were in September. If we pop open the finance menu here, we can see that uh, our sold products for September is actually a little bit higher than it was in the previous months. So I'm excited to see that the investment in the garden seems to be working out for us. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it. I'm not really taking into account the costs for the seed and fertilizer in that increase in profits. So I don't know. We'll have to uh, really kind of keep playing around with it. We didn't really use that much seeds or fertilizer though. So I'm not super concerned about it. They were left over. But more concerning is uh, taking a look at our hogs here. Uh, we are completely out of food. We did end up picking up an additional set of hogs. We've now got uh, a total of 500 hogs here. And so we're really going to have to focus on getting that corn harvested and uh, getting that feed mill set back up so that we can get uh, these hogs back to being productive. However, I think we're going to keep the episode short today and wrap things up here. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button. That's all for today. Kedrick. Out.